Raccoon Man, of course. <laughs> Okay. He is the YouTube sensation who has gone viral for his videos showing life with his beloved raccoons. He rescues them, and now he is battling to get those little buddies back. ABC's John Muller has his wild story. Showering with a raccoon? Odd, maybe for some, but this is just another day for Mark Brown. Rebecca. This little black-eyed bandit is at the center of a massive social media campaign started by her owner. I'm feeling like that I have had one of my children taken from me. Brown has raised Rebecca since she was bottle feeding, but now the state has taken her away, saying it's illegal to keep wild animals as pets. But this isn't Mark's first pet raccoon. In this 2012 video, Brown is dancing with Gun Show, and it catapulted him into the YouTube stratosphere. Over a million hits, and more videos follow. Gun Show getting a bath with Hannah Montana shampoo. Smells good, too. Even drinking Pepsi. Guess he likes Pepsi. Brown and Gun Show were even gearing up for their own reality show until his furry buddy passed away earlier this year. Now Brown says he will fight for Rebecca's return to the bitter end. I will get Rebecca back. What I've done should be commended and not condemned. I've done no wrong. Brown says he rescued Rebecca when she was born back in May. He even bottle fed her. She'd play, she'd dig, she'd chase bees, pick flowers, whatever. She'd just done what raccoons do. And he says he's been protecting her ever since. If she's released into the wild, all hunters have a legal right to train their coon dogs with her or kill her or trap her for her fur. That's not what I want. But now Brown is fighting back against the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency that took Rebecca away, asking the governor directly to help him get his Rebecca back. And we have a nationwide campaign now called Free Rebecca. We've got emails, 75 to 100 emails we answer daily. And they're all petitioning Governor Bill Haslam to give me a full pardon, forgive me of my sin, and let me get a permit to keep her. For Good Morning America, John Muller, ABC News, New York.